All right, next I'm going to go over a couple of little features here uh, with the instrument panel. As you can see, you know, the instrument panel is, is a lot more upgraded than it used to be. Uh, we have the nice trim, a uh, little chrome trim around on the SL model. Also, there's a uh, very easy navigated uh, screen in the, in the middle. I'm going to actually have uh, Walter uh, press a couple of buttons here for me. Uh, but you can see where it says 44 degrees. Of course, it's showing the temperature outside. Right down below that, you see fuel economy. Um, see the miles per gallon. Once we're driving on the road, there's actually a meter that will go up and let you know exactly what kind of fuel mileage you're getting uh, on the vehicle. So if we press this little button here, it's going to go through a couple other settings. Three, is, uh, three mile per hour is our average speed. Of course, this vehicle only has five miles on it, so you know that will change uh, once the vehicle is driven quite a bit. Driving distance, that has been set uh, or reset, I guess I should say. You can set that when you're going on a trip or whatnot to know how long it, you know, or how, how many miles it took you to get somewhere. And uh, of course, the next setting there shows the elapsed time. So that's pretty cool for when you're on the way to uh, you know the coast and uh, you want to know how long it took you to get there, you can certainly find that out. Uh, of course, the uh, the next option there is the range. We do have a, a full tank of fuel on the vehicle, so it's showing us we have 331 miles uh, left on the tank of fuel. So it's always going to show us our range that we have, no matter how much uh, fuel is in the tank. There's a little setting menu there, of course, that uh, just went by. That will uh, we can set that for our maintenance. Let us know when our oil uh, needs to be changed and tires rotated and um, you know stuff like that. So. Um, you know, zooming back out, um, I'm, there's uh, one of the biggest uh, features that we have now on the uh, Nissan Rogue, uh, especially the SL model, is you see the uh, not only do we have a rear view monitor here, uh, anytime you put it in reverse, this is going to pop up, but we now have a camera button if you'll come down this way. Uh, this little camera feature here, we can actually turn it on uh, and off uh, anytime we would like. So, of course, the camera is on there. I'm going to hit the button and uh, we can change through the different monitors and also turn it off. So I'm going to press that camera button again. Anytime we shift the vehicle in reverse, we're going to have this uh, rear view monitor here letting us know uh, exactly what's uh, going on behind us. Now, you see this little display here. There are now uh, several cameras on the car, a total of four. There are a camera in each mirror uh, on the left and the right side of the vehicle. Uh, there's also... Um, uh, cameras on the rear of the vehicle, uh, just like for the rear view monitor, which is here. And then there's also a camera in the front of the Nissan logo, which actually shows you this way. So if I press this one more time, it's going to show me a side view uh, of the vehicle. And uh, you can scroll through the, um, you know, and, and, and just see a different setting. Um, so once we're backing up, you can actually see, and I'm actually going to back up uh, towards a vehicle, so you can see which way, of course, we are going and that way you don't run into anything and of course if you want to help yourself parallel park beside of another vehicle you can certainly do that and once we start getting beside of the vehicle we're going to start seeing it come into view here on the side camera and of course you can see the shadow but uh, let's go on back there comes the car into view as you can see here and you can see the vehicle here as well so this is one thing that the Rogue and Nissan has really, uh, you know, took advantage of is the newer cameras. So what I'm going to do now is kind of do a little UE, and I'm going to pull right into this, uh, or maybe not a UE, but we're just going to go right into this Altima. Um, as you can see, we're actually going forward. So this camera here is now switched to forward, and of course it's telling me which way I'm going, but I can pull up, and as you can see here, it's showing the bottom, make sure I'm not running in over any toys or whatnot but I can pull up as close as I want to. These lines here are demonstrating how, how far away you are from an object. Um, the furthest one is about 10 feet. Uh, this one here is around seven feet. This one is about five to three feet. This one here is approximately about a, a foot and a half. Uh, so we can, of course, get a little closer if we would like. But th this uh, you know, design here is mainly for, of course, it says check surroundings for safety, but you know, a good story that I use is my wife has ran over my son's football um, probably about three times. I've had to buy him uh, three different, it's either two or three, uh, excuse me, different footballs. Um, so uh, this would prevent that from happening or running over bicycles or whatnot. So uh, I'm just going to put this thing back in park. And if you'll look here beside the camera, you also see the sport mode. Um, this will actually change the ratios of the transmission, very similar to our uh, Nissan Juke. 
So when uh, you're going down the road and you need a little bit more performance, you can just press the sport mode on and it'll actually show it in the display uh, that it is on. Just changes the ratios of the transmission and uh, just give you a little bit better horsepower um, as well.